this annual event to our community uh, for the 23rd year. As you know, Kern County AIDS Compassion Week began with the Day of Compassion, which was a time when media and cable programming began to promote awareness about HIV and began to work it into their different storylines so that people could learn more about it and become more aware. And then also National HIV Testing Day, which is also extremely important. We're really looking at being able to uh, have uh, HIV testing accessible to everyone. It is a fast and free process, and it is important that every one of us knows our HIV status. And so this is one of many different events happening throughout the week in honor of Kern County AIDS Compassion Week. You know, uh, 23 years of spreading this message across Kern County, that, that's something right there. And you know, hats off to Audrey for everything that she's doing in this community. Amen. You know, but, there, but there's something bigger than even that. And it's the message that Audrey's uh, spreading every day. And that's the message of love and compassion. Exactly. No matter where you go, no matter what you talk to her about, love is the overlying image and message that she presents. Yep. And it's everything that you guys are doing here today and what this week is all about that says just that. Spread love and understanding and education all throughout the community. On behalf of Congressman Valadeo, we'd like to present the certificate of special congressional recognition to the Bakersfield AIDS Project uh, for their 2015 Kern County AIDS Compassion Week. Thank you. Appreciate it. Earlier this week, we received a proclamation from the Kern County Board of Supervisors uh, proclaiming this week as Kern County AIDS Compassion Week. So we want to say thank you to our county for that as well. The the real essence of uh, the purpose of AIDS Compassion Week is really to put recognition to those residents of our community that have been afflicted by HIV and AIDS. Um, since the beginning of this epidemic, we've had close to 3,000 people that have been reported to our department um, with this infection. Uh, we get close to 100 new reports each year and we're particularly concerned about our young 14 to 19 year old age population that are becoming afflicted with HIV. So it's really important for us to get the message out that this disease is still in our community and that we need to treat all individuals with compassion and love to be able to help them uh, manage their infection over, over time. Thank you. We also uh, received a certificate of recognition for Kern County AIDS Compassion Week, be it resolved by California State Senator Andy Bidat that the Bakersfield AIDS Project receives recognition for Kern County AIDS Compassion Week 2015. Thank you for your hard work and diligence in educating our community about AIDS. I also commend you on your dedication to helping those who are currently living with AIDS. Your organization makes Kern County a better place to live and it is signed the Honorable Andy Vidak, Senator, California State Legislature. Yes. So, thank you. And uh, I'm handing it to Cindy because Cindy always works so hard in helping to promote awareness uh, throughout the community. She's one of the voices of people who are positive throughout Kern County and a very important part of Bakersfield's AIDS project. So thank you. Thank you. Well, I always very proudly wear the shirt uh, with my beautiful daughter's picture. She passed away a year after after Ricky passed away, and um, really one of the first young women in Kern County. And certainly Joyce has helped to break those stereotypes. It's not just someone that looks or we think could be infected. Um, it's it's anyone that puts themselves at risk is certainly able to be infected. And of course we know that um, once you're infected, you are infected. Uh, it's just wonderful that there are medications that help the infected community do better, live longer. And of course, Cindy is one of our is our, our champion here. Uh, it's wonderful to see her year after year after year. God's sometimes grace. She, sometimes she looks like she's feeling good. Sometimes she, it's obvious that she's not. She's she's still here. But 
Um, but anyway, something that, that uh, really has uh, been on my heart all day is there, there's a scripture in the Bible that says, all things work together for good to those who love God. And I was thinking of Audrey. Um, you know, her family has suffered the loss of um, the child, of the sibling, of Ricky Montoya, and uh, along with that, that loss that is, is a forever loss, Audrey has turned that tragedy and that loss into something positive by uh, being the founder and the president of Ricky's Retreat now that has this wonderful, perfect home um, for those that, uh, that need it when they need it the most that are passing away uh, in, in their last days, a hospice home for, for the, uh, those affected with AIDS. We know that uh, we still have a lot of uh, people who are still uncomfortable in terms of getting AIDS testing. Uh, we know in the, in the Latino community, uh, sex is still not a word that people like to use. <laughs> and uh, so because of that, uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, we do have a lot of our people who don't realize how important it is to get uh, tested for AIDS. We have to remind people that it's free, uh, that we have a responsibility to take that test. Uh, it doesn't cost anything, and I just want to say to Audrey and to everyone here who cares about this issue, that the Doors with the Foundation of Me uh, will, will continue to spread the word out there. And we do uh, community organizing, we do house meetings uh, to make sure that people are aware of this. And I just want to introduce Yusenia Capos, uh, who is working with our foundation now, and she is in charge of our health initiatives uh, here in Kern and Tulare counties. And we will definitely, definitely make this a part of our mission. We know that this subject has been a very touchy uh, subject for many, many years, and especially in the African American community, uh, just like Mr. Dolores have stated, uh, that many of us do not get tested, and we are urging those that are not have not been tested to get tested. It's a, we have no excuses. Uh, we have a fabulous organization here locally that has uh, provided a access for us to be able to get free services. Uh, so we have absolutely no excuses uh, to not know our status and to be able to help our families, our communities and our friends to be able to help spread the word and to help those that are in need. And we definitely thank the media for coming out to be able to spread this awareness to those. And again, thank Audrey for the invitation and continue to do the good work that you've been doing. And we love you in this city and continue to do an awesome job. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'd like to read to you our proclamation that was presented at council Tuesday night. Whereas the first cases of what would later become known as AIDS were reported in the United States in June of 1981. And whereas for over 20 years, volunteers at the Bakersfield AIDS Project have been providing services throughout Kern County, including Ricky's Retreat Hospice Home. And whereas AIDS Compassion Week is a local campaign to fundraise, to educate, and raise awareness for HIV, AIDS in Kern County, and promote June 27th as National HIV Testing Day. And whereas it is estimated in the United States 1.2 million people are living with HIV infection. And one in seven persons is unaware of their infection because most do not find out their HIV status until their very first major health crisis. And whereas it is estimated that in Kern County, 782 people have been diagnosed with HIV infection and 2,049 people have been diagnosed with AIDS. Now therefore, I, Kathy L. Prout, Mayor of the City of Shafter, on behalf of the entire Chapter City Council, do hereby proclaim June 19th to 28th, 2015, as AIDS Compassion Week in the City of Chapter. And I urge all people to join the local efforts of the Bakersfield AIDS Project by taking part in these activities. And it is passed and adopted, like I said, on Tuesday as I'm a council meeting signed by myself. In 1986, my father uh, died of AIDS. And I was distraught, I didn't know what to do. There was very limited um, uh, resources and education uh, about AIDS in San Francisco. Um, and uh, in 1989, I also was diagnosed with HIV. Um, it was the time where there was no medication, a time where there was a lot of ignorance and hatred towards uh, people with AIDS. And so I lived in this era where people were dropping like flies. Having my own father die in my arms was so, uh, powerful and but at the same time I summoned up courage I summoned up courage to live my life to the fullest and to honor myself 
and to absolutely take good care of my health. I began my journey by going to public schools and educating teenagers about my own HIV and my own AIDS scenario that happened to me. Soon after, I had 76 friends of mine die of AIDS during the very early days of the epidemic. You know, having been in San Francisco and being a single father raising my daughter, my prayer and my conviction that I would live to see my daughter's 18th birthday. Make a circle around here, please. Each of us pray differently, but our intent is to self-improve and to be able to have a mission and purpose in life. And for us, Danza Azteca, uh, it's a tradition that we honor Mother Earth, Father Sky, in the four directions. And so, we, uh, everything begins with prayer for us, uh, our danza. We dance, we ask prayer. And we know that HIV is uh, very high amongst young men, among people of color. We know that there's not a lot, lot of education. And we know that um, people are dying and people are struggling.